Hey everyone, my name is Tara. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I was gonna do a yoga flow for today's video, but then I thought that I think in this time of year, it's so important to remind ourselves to stay in the present moment. So I just wanted to kind of talk about that topic a little bit today. And I was reminded of this by no other than one of my dogs. So that's what we're talking about today. And I will post a yoga flow for next week's video. That's my plan. I don't have a plan for the video yet. So if you have any specific yoga practices that you've been wanting, let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, let's get into today's video. Okay, so how my dog actually reminded me of this lesson. So it was Hunter, which Hunter hates being in the same room with me when I am talking to a camera. He leaves right away as soon as I start speaking to the camera. I could talk on the phone, that's cool. The camera is not cool, so he left. So I can't bring him in the video frame. So here's a little picture of my little guy. And we were playing and Hunter does not like when you play with him and you are not present with him. He really doesn't. His face looks different. He has this different facial expression. His energy is different. And I was playing with him and I had shit to do. So I was on my computer doing work at the same time while I'm throwing his tennis ball for him. And he was not happy. I literally actually could feel that his energy was different. Like it's not the same as when I am fully present in that moment with him giving him my full attention. And it was just such an important reminder that we do this all the time. Well, maybe you don't, maybe you're better than me. I think a lot of us do this all the time because we're always trying to get shit done, right? We're always trying to get things done, feeling like we need to get things done and we're not really present with ourselves or with the people we're with or with our dogs, right? So Hunter reminded me of this. So closed my laptop, actually gave him my full attention. He was very happy, all good. But I just wanted to come on here and remind you guys this because I feel like during the holidays, whatever you celebrate, if you do celebrate anything this time of year, things feel really rushed. And sometimes all of a sudden it feels like the holidays here, whatever you celebrate, Yule, Christmas, Hanukkah, anything else. But it's like you have this holiday season and then all of a sudden, right, the holidays are already here and it's like, where did the time go before? And it's because we're not actually truly present with ourselves or in these moments in our lives. We're always looking to the next thing. And I actually wrote about this in one of my recent blog posts. I wrote about um, just like learning to slow down because I feel like everything's so rushed. So I wrote a blog about, you know, slow living, learning to slow down. And I talked about this in this blog post, how time sometimes feels like it moves so fast, right? People say like, oh, like where did the time go? And I feel like that's especially true this time of year in December. And the time moved at the same pace that it always moves at, right? It doesn't move any faster around the holidays or around any specific time of year. It's always moving at the same pace. It's just how we perceive time. And the biggest key is because we're not present in the moments that are going by and we're always rushing or moving on to the next thing and not taking that time to slow down and to really be immersed in the present moment. So this is your reminder for this time of year to take that moment to slow down, to be present with pe the people around you when you're spending time with them and to be present with yourself because we do need that time to slow down and connect within as well. I've had this, I haven't had the dream as much this year, but last year I did, it was like, I'm gonna call it a nightmare, it really wasn't a nightmare. It's like a bad dream that me and my husband would wake up and it was Christmas day and we did nothing for Christmas, there was no decorations and I'm all upset and it's terrible and I love Christmas time and it, in the dream, I'm like so upset that we missed everything going up to it. And I originally thought, <laughs> I had this dream a lot last year and I think I thought it was kind of like foreshadowing like an intuitive thing because me and my husband ended up actually getting 
COVID right before Christmas. So we were sick. We ended up actually being able, we were finally better by Christmas time, by like Christmas day um, to celebrate. But pretty much the whole time before we were sick, felt like shit, didn't really do anything Christmassy. So I thought it was kind of foreshadowing for that. But I still have had the dream a little bit this year. Hopefully I'm not going to get sick again for Christmas. But I think it is that fear of missing out because... I'm not being present like is it is that the lesson that I'm getting from this dream or that my subconscious mind is telling me like you need to slow down and be in the present moment and I'm not one to stress about like holiday related stuff like buying gifts or what I'm gonna do if I have people over I don't know whatever the normal holiday stressors are but I do I like to take the time around the holidays off of work so usually my husband's off so I want to be done with my stuff or as done with my stuff as I can be so that I can take that time off. So I will feel rushed in December. I'll feel like, oh, I want to get this stuff done so I can just unwind and take off at the end of the year, which is fine. But then at the same time, all those weeks leading up, I'm not really being present. So maybe that's you as well. And maybe this is your reminder that you still need to take the time to be present, to slow down, and not everything needs to be rushed. And all the things we're talking about can be applied to life in general because a lot of us are always looking to the next thing rushing to the next thing and we're not here in the present moment i know i do it a lot when i talk on the phone i'm really bad at talking on the phone and being really present there like i always am doing something on my computer at the same time and that's really that's not right it's not good for me because i'm not in the present moment but also if i'm taking the time to speak on the phone with someone i should be present and giving them my full energy at that time and not multitasking so these are things or lessons that we can remember in our everyday life not just around the holidays that it's so important to allow ourselves to be really immersed in the present moment to give if we're doing an activity with someone right talking on the phone, I'm playing with my dog, give your full energy to that moment if you're taking the time to do it. If it's something that's draining your energy that you don't want to do, um, then maybe you need to reassess if that's the right thing to do, if those are the right people to spend time with. Of course, sometimes you can't just be like, oh, I'm not going to see this person, like if they're a family member, but then maybe, you know, you cut down on the time you're spending with them. And you know, if it's like someone that's draining your energy, I'm not saying that you need to give them your full energy, but if it's someone that you love and care about and want to be sharing your energy with, then definitely, yes, remind yourself to be in that present moment with them. When you change your mindset to work in this way or you just remind yourself to, or remind your energy to be this way, it's really just so nourishing and you can really just allow yourself to be nourished by these more mundane activities if you're just present and it's not so easy it sounds like like i'm saying it and it sounds like oh it should be so easy to just be in the present moment but it's not our mind wants to pull us to what we need to get done in the future our mind also likes to pull us to what um, we think we need to worry about from the past but it takes practice but trying to let those things go and bring yourself to just be immersed in the present moment so that's all from me for today i hope this video was a good reminder for you again i will hopefully have a yoga flow up for next week so any suggestions on a flow you'd like let me know in the comments down below and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button right below me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys